unboxing part two. This is another mold from Epic and it is going to be the follow-up to our rocket grub. That's right, it's the tail mold. So we're gonna do some really cool stuff with this. Um, as you can see, they package it in their cardboard paper like always. They tape it up real nice. I'll go ahead and open this up. See if I can get it going here. As you can tell, I haven't shot it before. Okay. All that looks good. Here's a look at the outside. Here's a look at the outside. We have the logo at the top, um, what it is on the bottom, and the cavity count. And you can see it's got a super good finish. You can see um, everything in the background. It's pretty much a mirror finish almost. And here is a look at the inside. It is an eight cavity. The Rocket Grub, the 3.5, is also an eight cavity. You can get it in a one cavity, but I happen to have the eight, so this is perfect. Along with your order, you will get some super awesome stickers. I love that they have fish on them. Just makes it even better. You will get a little bit of a thank you with your name wrote at the top, probably. Super nice touch from Epic. And then you will get a packing slip with all your order information on it. So, I think today we're going to shoot this mold with some of this MF. This is a translucent chartreuse. So I think we're going to mix some of this up in some 242 from Bait Plastics. We'll use this for the tails and then we'll use the purple from the video for the bodies. No, we may use a blue. I have a blue over there. We might use a blue. We'll do a blue with a chartreuse tail. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's try that. I think that's gonna look super awesome. Um, I'll get some plastic hot and we'll come back when we're ready to mix this up. Plastic is nice and hot. We'll give this a shake. I've never used this before either. This is new to me. I've been using the bait plastic chartreuse, so I figured it would be a nice little change just to try something different. It looks very yellow, so that is one thing I will say. This got a, oh, this has a cap on it. This could be fun. <laughs> I'll come back after I get this cap out of here. Okay. Crisis averted, I got the little cap thing out of there. I wasn't expecting that to be in there. Okay, now this is like mustard yellow here, so we're gonna see how this turns out, see if we can not make a mess. All right, we're gonna start with about five drops. Based on the other pigments, I don't think that's gonna be near enough. Whoa! That is incredible. Oh my gosh, this is the color I've been looking for forever. I'm gonna have to buy a pint of this. That is so bright. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy a pint of this. Okay, we put 10 more drops in. This was not what I was expecting. This is amazing. Wow. Okay, so I think we are going to do probably 10 more drops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. When it hits the water, it like completely, or the water hits the plastic, it changes color completely. This is not water. All right, this is awesome. Okay. I see a little piece of something I don't like in there. Let me get that out of there. No, you cannot be in my plastic. Get out of there. Okay, so we're gonna shoot this with maybe a little bit of black flake, maybe. Let me grab some black flake here. Just a tiny bit, not much. Let's see if we can make this kind of a speckle. Oh my gosh, I am so happy with this color right now. 
This color is blowing me away. I'm extremely happy with that color. MF has got my respect because I will be ordering a pint of that ASAP. Oh, that is incredible color right there. I've been looking for this for so long. I never could figure out where to get it. Okay, my glove on. And let's shoot this. This is gonna make for awesome tails. Make sure I clean that out. Okay. This is awesome. I can't wait to shoot some more baits in that. That's awesome. That is definitely the color I was looking for. And judging by the bottle, I would have never thought it would be that color. Wow. It is so bright. Wow. That's really amazing me. I'm gonna have to shoot some other stuff in this. Okay. Now that I'm done fanboying over the chartreuse, I'm gonna let this cool down and then we'll go ahead and heat some blue up for the bodies. Okay, I think this is cooled down. Peel off some of that extra right there. Let's pop it open. Oh my goodness. Look how bright those tails are. That is insane. Insanely bright. Let's get a better look at them in the mold here. If I can get them to untangle since I pull them apart. I don't see any air bubbles. I don't see any defects at all. I think these turned out really good. Let me get you a better look. I cannot get over how bright those are. It's nuts. But yeah, they look really good. As you can see, there's no defects. I mean, they are stunning. So let's heat up some blue and let's shoot some blue bodies on these. I suppose we should pull some of these off the sprue and see how that goes because that's a big part of this. So we will just give them a yank and they came off really clean. Do another one just for testing. Yep, they're not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with this. I was worried about how clean those would pull off since this is pretty thin and it's really nice. Not bad at all. So what we're gonna do is we'll put some warm oil on these and we will stick them in the mold and I'll show you that process of how difficult they are to put in the mold and then we'll shoot some blue bodies over them. So first thing we're gonna do is take these, put them in our hand and we're gonna put some warm oil on them a little bit. And then we're just gonna roll our hands together like this and we'll get them nice and coated. Okay, now that they're coated, what we're gonna do is put them in here and I'll show you that process. Basically, you just wanna give them a nice little tap, just like this. Same thing here, basically, you just wanna put it in here, line it up, give it a little bit of a tap, make sure that the little lips here go down in there and that you're not left with a gap. See, I'll show you one side. Okay, make sure that they're down in there. And same thing with this one. And I'll show you what it looks like when they're all in the mold. And then I'll show you uh, the process of closing the mold with these in here. Okay, now that these are in here, basically what you wanna do is take your other half of the mold. This is gonna be really hard one-handed. See if I can set this down. And then you want to line up your pins. Okay. And you just want to set it down on top of the other pin. And if you did it correctly, there will be no gap. See how this gap is pretty closed? You're going to want to make sure it isn't like that. Make sure it's closed on the sides. And if it's closed on all sides, when you put the clamps on, it should be okay, and it shouldn't flash. Okay, we have it clamped down pretty good, and our blue over here is nice and hot. We want to make sure that we get it to the proper temperature. So you want it to be hotter than normal because you're going to be bonding. And yet this isn't quite hot enough. So we want to try to get around that 370 
because it's gonna bond to the other plastic. So that's our goal. So we'll come back when it is a little bit warmer. Our plastic is 375 degrees, which is pretty optimal. So we're gonna draw some up here. And we're gonna inject slow and steady. Okay. It filled up, so we're just gonna hold some pressure for a minute, try to prevent any air bubbles or denting from occurring. I think this is gonna look good together. I hope. I think we're also gonna shoot the purple over them too, because the more I look at the purple over there in my tray where my baits are resting, I think the purple needs to go over the other set, because I shot another set of tails, so. Okay, there's that blue. So we'll let these cool off and then we'll put the other tails in the mold too. Okay, I think these are ready to come out and I think they're gonna look pretty sweet. So let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, these look so good. These look freaking killer. Look at that. Let me show you a better view here. If that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what does. Those look incredible. And the way the plastic shoots around that, it ought to be very durable. Like, wow, that is a nice color combo. I really like that. I'm really excited to see the purple in that as well. Those look really nice. So, I vote we put the tails back in and we shoot the purple. Okay, we have our purple from the last video heated up. So now, I'm gonna put the cap on this and see about shooting it into here. This is about 385 degrees, so it is pretty warm. So I wanna shoot this in here nice and slow. Okay made kind of a hissing sound. I guess it was the wormhole coming out. May have had too much in there. So, hold pressure on this for a minute. These are gonna look great. I can already tell. So, now that I'm pretty satisfied with that, we'll top it off and we'll shoot the rest back in here. Okay, our purple is cool. So, we're gonna split this mold open and I'll give you a look at it. Oh, wow. Yeah, good call doing the purple. The purple looks good. Slot these back in here where you can see them. And I think I can show you that. Yeah, look at that. Those look absolutely killer. How is that for awesome? It looks incredible. So now I guess we should probably test on how well the tails are secured. So to do that, we're gonna pop one off of here and we will grab the tail. I mean, it's on there. I don't think that's gonna get pulled out of there. I'm pretty sure you would break it up here before you would break it at the joint. That is awesome. Good adhesion, turned out really nice. So yeah, this is probably my favorite mold now. I really like this setup. Well, I think that's going to wrap up our tail mold review. Just in uh, hindsight, it is a eight cavity, 3.5 inch rocket grub. They also make this in a bigger version to match the bigger rocket grub. I think it's four and a half, I could be wrong, but I think it's about an inch bigger. Um, super nice mold, well machined. Um, has the logo and the engraving on the bottom, butter knife slot on the top. A super nice mold from Epic. As you can see, you can make some crazy color combinations with this. And I think they're going to make awesome trailers. And I'm sure we're going to catch lots of largemouth on them. I would imagine this would be pretty good for smallmouth. Um, we don't have a lot of smallmouth where I'm from, unfortunately. You have to travel a couple hours uh, to be able to find them. But maybe in the near future, we'll be able to do that. If you uh, like this video, drop a like and a subscribe, and I appreciate you watching. If you want to buy this mold for yourself, I will leave a link to the body mold and a link to the tail mold in the description to uh, Epic's website. 
If you want to buy any of these awesome baits or any other baits that I make uh, now or in the future, there is a link below to my store. All that money goes back into this so that I can keep uh, making videos and providing content for you guys. It's something I love doing and uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching. Um, but until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.